let's take a new file and let's change the stage properties width and height to 800 by 600 now i just want to draw a rectangle in the stage and let's choose the color draw a rectangle let's change the rectangle size to stage size 800 by 600 and let's align it to the stage stage center now i just want to replace that gray color with gradient choose the gradient from color panel and change the gradient colors as we require i just want to take that combination of blue and white color let's choose the colors now let's lock the layer and let us save the file go to file and save and let's name the file name is for loop example 2 for loop example 2 now we just need to hit save to save the file let us create another layer we just want to draw a circle dry circle and let's change the fill color same gradient but let's swap the colors just blue to white white to blue select the shape and convert to symbol let us name the symbol as circle mc click ok now we just need to delete the symbol from the stage let us save the file now just go to file and click save now let us create a base class for this assignment go, go to property panel click on class and let's name it as for loop example 2 click ok now class is defined and let's save the class as for loop example 2.as let us go back to the stage and select library select the symbol right click on symbol select properties to create a class and let's save the object class also now we just need to go back to the base class and let us define one object name and we need to take the class of circle mc my circle is equals to new circle let's come back to the public class and let us define one for loop to create multiple objects for where i and then condition would be one i less than 150 i plus plus now inside this loop we just need to define my circle as a new object my circle as equals to new circle mc and then we need to use add child method to display the object to display list add child my circle save let's test the move now we can see this circle on the left upper corner all the circles are placed at same place so we will not be able to see all the circles there let's change the x and y positions to random of my circle let's say my circle dot x equal to math dot random into 800 800 is the stage width and let's change the y position also my circle dot y math dot random into 600 let us save the file and test it now we could see all the 150 symbols on the stage in different positions let's go back to the code again now just let us take the random sizes now my circle dot scale x is equals to my circle dot scale y 
because we want same random number to both the properties scale x and scale y so scale x equal to scale y equal to 0.5 plus math dot random into 3 so that minimum value will be 50 percent and maximum will be 350 percent let's save the file test the file to see the result now we could see all the 150 symbols on the stage in random positions and random sizes now let us control the alpha also let's have alpha as 0.65 my circle dot alpha equal to 0.65 which is 65 percent save the file test the movie we could see overlap symbols on the stage now let's go back to the object class to animate them i just want to add event class class dot events dot event because i want to use enter frame event so we need to add the class let's go back to the public class and let us define add event resonor to define that enter frame event so event dot enter frame comma function name which is uh, update position and we just need to define this update position as private function let's come out of the public class and let us define update position as private function event is event now let's get get inside the function we just need to define the x position formula to animate it random so to animate them to random we require two variables to define the random numbers let's go back to the class and we need to define the two variables for it now where expose which is exposition and let's assign that random number there math.random into 800 now same uh, we need to define that variable for y position which is y pose data type number and same formula again math.random into 600 and let's come back to the formula now which is private which is in private function x plus equal to let us define the target uh, variable target position which is in variable x pose minus current x by 15 same let's apply for y y plus equal to our target value in variable y pose minus current y by 15 let us save the file and now test it so now we could see random positions and I'm animating them to random. Let's continue this animation for every two seconds. So to repeat this animation for every two seconds, we need to generate that random numbers for every two seconds. To get that random numbers for every two seconds that we need to create one timer. And let's define that my timer as my timer. And we can see the delay is two seconds there, 2000 milliseconds. Let's get inside the public function and let us define event listener for timer. My event is timer and the function name is update timer. Let us define update timer as private function now. Private function. And the function name is update timer. The event is timer event. Once again, we just need to assign random numbers to the two variables x pose and y pose. x position variable is x pose equal to math dot random multiply with 800 because the width of the stage is 800.
let's update the y force y force equal to math dot random multiply with 600 now we just need to start the timer let's go back to the public function my timer dot stat let's save the file and test it now we could see the animation for every two seconds this will be continued thank you for watching and have a great day